Good morning. It's Thursday. We're out the door to go to work. We are going to go, we're going to do an outfit of the day. I'm going to try to throw in an apartment tour today, probably grab a quick lunch and just go do this day together. So I'm going to put this down. Oh, the dog's banging. I'm going to put this tripod down and I'm going to show you what I've got on. So the first thing I got on my little time and true earrings from Walmart. We all love time and true. Um, the top that I'm wearing, I can't tell you where I got it. I don't remember, but it's cute as a button. And it's a cow neck here. Short sleeve and it has pockets. <laughs> How cute is that? Okay, and then I am, let me just tell you what I'm wearing and then I'll show you. And then I have on black capri pants from Walmart. This isn't from Walmart. I don't know where I got this. I'm going to say Ross if I had to guess. Um, capri, stretchy capris from Walmart, and then my wedged um, snakeskin, fake snakeskin, um, wedge heels with a big gold buckle that I adore and I love, and I've had them for like three or four years, and I just keep wearing them because I love them. I'm just excited to be able to wear heels again, okay? Oh, and, and I'm wearing my new, it's not Fitbit brand, but it's a Fitbit watch. It's kind of like the Apple iWatch, but way more affordable. And I don't do Apple products. Okay, anyway, let me show you this so we can get out the door. Um, let me show you my shoes first. So here's my adorable shoes that I'm in love with. They're a wedge, and they have a gold buckle right here. Just a low wedge. And I don't know if you can tell, but they're like a snakeskin. Wasn't that classy how I just propped my foot up there? Okay, let's let's walk it out because I gotta go to work. The whole thing. Stretchy. Gotta have the stretch. It's real simple. Real simple. I like to keep it simple. Easy peasy. Mac and cheesy. Ah. Oh. I love mac and cheese. That sounds good. What time is it? It's 8.28. Let's get out the door. We're going to go in here and we're going to make some coffee. So my office has a Starbucks machine. Isn't that cool? This is our holding spot for packages for residents. Those are bicycles that they can sign in and out and use if they want to. So let's get our cup in here to begin. Okay, and we're going to go with coffee. You can have Veranda, Pike Place, or Dark Cafe Verona, and that's my favorite. We're going to go short, eight calor or eight ounces. Make your beverage. Now we wait. Over here we've got a little station with creamer, so I will put put a few of these in there and a spit caramel latte. Okay. Oh, and then we're gonna top it off with a little ready whip. My regional manager taught me that trick. We got wine in there because we're gonna have Thirsty Thursday party. Wind Down Wednesday for our residents. The beans are up here. It grinds the beans. <laughs> Isn't that cool? The whole thing is just cool.
to my own Starbucks for free. Thanks, Thrive. We're gonna go live inspired. And as you guys know, this is my, this is where I park it. This is my space here. Did I already tell you guys they're building, um, it's a rooftop bar and grill and office spaces and retail spaces that they're gonna be building. Over here, this is my leasing agent's office. He is off work today because he will be working Saturday. We're looking for the iPod so we can get some music going. Here it is. This controls the music in the courtyards. We have a yoga courtyard and we have a pool courtyard. And then we, you know, we call this the gather space. So we need to get some music going in here. I know the quality of this video is not great, but that's only because the sun is shining. 82 degrees. 82 degrees. I just got to say something. And then I'm going to show y'all while I get up for lunch, and then we're going to drive back to work. Everybody's tripping on the coronavirus. I Everybody's tripping over the coronavirus. I just refuse to be part of that freak out club. I'm just not going to be part of it. Uh, I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to use hand sanitizer because I just wiped my bank card. I hit the keypad. Everybody's fingers are on the keypad. So I'm going to go ahead and use my hand sanitizer. You know, wash your hands before you eat. Wash your hands after you eat. Wash your hands when you go to the bathroom. Wash your hands when you've touched any kind of public um, touch screen, you know, common sense stuff that you probably need to be doing on a regular basis anyway, just to stay free of germs. Anywho, um, I'm just, I'm just, first of all, if you go back in, um, my videos, uh, my word of the year is fearless and I've been living since January 1st. I have been living fearless like a champ, fearless like a champ. Um, Here's my thing, and this might sound real simple and stupid to a lot of y'all, but the Lord knows the day I came in, and the Lord knows the day I go out, and if the day I go out is caused by the coronavirus, then that's what's going to happen. Um, don't feel like that's going to be my path, because <laughs> I'm believing in God that it's not going to touch me or my family, um, and I'm just, I'm just not going to live in fear of the coronavirus. I mean, everybody calm down. I understand nobody wants to get sick, but people are, people are holding up. They are holding up. They are hiding. They've bought all the toilet paper. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. I'm moving my car and I'm going to show you guys what I got for lunch real quick and then we'll take off driving again. But that sun was just messing up our jam and it might mess up our jam again. We're going to just... We're just going to park here for a minute. I know. My lighting technician is off work today. So, I don't think I've mentioned this to you guys, but I'm fasting. I've been fasting for a few weeks, 16 hours a day. Um, I started fasting not on purpose. Um, when I started this job... Um, I've been so busy learning and busy with the new position and just busy, busy, busy that I, you know, I don't get to eat until between one and three o'clock in the afternoon. And that's just how it's been when I've had dinner at six and seven o'clock the night before. So I've been going 16 and 18 hours without eating, not even on purpose. Um, and I've lost three or four pounds. Okay, so with, since I've started this job. Now, with that being said, I thought, well, if I'm going to fast anyway, I might as well keep track of it. So I put a fasting tracker on my phone. I've been fasting, um, and I've been trying to make better choices. So um, because we are quick and in a hurry, um, I just grabbed this. This is a Healthy Choice Power Bowl. Right here is what I'm going to have. I'm going to go back to the office, and I'm going to nuke it. It's vegetarian. It's plant-based. 
It's edamame, mango, and vegetables served on top of brown and red rice, red quinoa, and black barley with a red wine vinaigrette topped with dried cherries and sunflower seeds. So we're going to we're gonna snack on that. And then, um, because I wanted to taste these, I saw it on a commercial. It's Highland Cottage Cheese Garden Veggie. I love cottage cheese, but this is a garden veggie cottage cheese, so I'm totally stoked to try that. This has 140 calories in it. Uh, this is one serving, 140 calories. Uh, this healthy choice bowl has 370 calories. 1.5 grams of fat. No, total fat, 14 grams. 1.5 grams of saturated fat. And then a whole bunch of carbs. So if you're low carbing, this isn't for you. I'm not low carbing. Um, low carbing makes me a horrible person. And then just to have these on hand because I'm obsessed with them are the Quaker Cheddar um, Rice Krispies. And um, this is the cheddar kind. Get out of the sun. That's all I got. But um, so Shane and I went to the movies last um, Sunday. We went and saw. We went to a matinee and we went and saw Invisible Man with Elizabeth Moss. Love her. She's the one off of A Handmaid's Tale. Anyway, went and saw that movie. Um, it was a little gory. So it's some of you, you know, you're not into that edge of your seat thriller. Slightly bloody kind of movies, but it was a really good movie. Went and saw that. Anywho, um, instead of eating popcorn, I took a small bag of these. This is a big bag, but I took a single serving bag and munched on that instead of popcorn. Um, I did enjoy a Coke that Sunday, though. What is happening with my hair? I've got to get my hair cut. It's getting, it's getting long um, when I've made a decision to keep it short. Um, okay, so I've been by myself all day. We were going to have uh, Brandon, my leasing agent, he is off work today. He's off one day a week because he works Saturdays. So, um, and then except for the first Saturday of the month, I work it. And then I take a Thursday off. So I've been by myself all day, which is fine. I've been getting stuff done. It's not incredibly busy. Our traffic is slow, I'm sure, because of the coronavirus. Um, and we were going to have, um, Resmin training, which is, Resmin's a software we use, um, and the, the company, Resmin company was going to send their trainers in, they were going to fly them in, and we were going to go to training next week, me and Brandon. Well, because of the coronavirus, <laughs> our classes got canceled, we each had a two-day class, so those got canceled because there's a travel ban on everything. I can understand a short-term travel ban simply because I'm not trying to be stuck on a plane or a ship with um, anyone that could possibly have the coronavirus. I can understand that. I wouldn't travel right now in a plane or a boat. I'd get in my own car and I'd drive and travel, but I'm not trying to travel in a small space. I'm also not trying to buy out all of the toilet paper. I'm also not trying to hole up in my house. I'm not also, I'm also not living in fear. So, um, we're going to go back to the office. I'm going to eat lunch and I will take a few minutes and squeeze in an apartment tour because, um, they're gorgeous. We have one and two bedroom apartment homes. So if you're planning on moving to the Tulsa Metro area, give me a holler because I can hook you up. I still have connections with rental houses and the other properties that I managed before. So if any of y'all trying to move, holla <laughs> to rent. I'm not in real estate. I'm not in the real estate business as far as buying and selling. I am in the real estate business as far as leasing. So, but I can also hook you up with uh, amazing real estate agents here. I do know real estate agents. I just don't sell real estate. I'm just running my mouth. Let's get off here before this, this fun little vlog turns into a two hour event. Um, by the way, this will be a repeat purchase for me. Highland Cottage Cheese Garden Veggie. It's the bomb.com. Here's the Garden Veggie Power Bowl. Look at that. Looks good. I'll let you know how it tastes shortly. Garden Veggie Power Bowl is the bomb, y'all. Mm. Two 
two thumbs up. Okay. You guys have to forgive me, I'm out of breath. I've been running up and down stairs. This is a two bedroom apartment at Thrive. So we're standing at the front door. This is what you see when you come in. To your left is the kitchen, granite countertops, stainless steel sink with a gooseneck, stainless steel appliances, microwave, cherry wood cabinets, stove, dishwasher, all the goodies, the, um, the vinyl hardwood floors. I'm gonna come around here. There's your kitchen area. And those of you who have been with me for a long time, remember these apartment homes. So we're gonna pan over here. Okay, it's a living room. They've got the nine foot ceilings. This is a French balcony or a Romeo and Juliet balcony to where there's no balcony to step out on, but you can look, open your back door, and let the air in. Spider web right there. And this is what it looks like when you look out. And this is a unit over the office. Those of you familiar with Tulsa can see ORU over there off in the distance over there. Okay. Pan around, pan around, pan around. Come in here. It's gonna take us into our, this is the hallway. It's a really wide hallway. And this is gonna take us into our master bedroom here. And it's got the really tall ceilings. A Little bit of a walk-in closet. Gonna pan out over here. And we're gonna come into our master bath. Oh, he's changing out light bulbs. So, granite countertops. Hey. <laughs> Shower, bathroom. So that's what that looks like. Okay, and then we're gonna come in here. Washer and dryer. Come to the washer and dryer. I need to WD-40 that door. Here is the first bathroom. There's a light on. Same granite countertops, cherry wood cabinets. Just real cute, cute as a button. Okay. And then the second bedroom that has the same closet space. Um, these apartments across the street are absolutely gorgeous. I haven't been over to look at them yet, but they are called seven, let me put you in the blinds. They're called 727 lofts. Gonna focus wrong. Um, and I've got to go there and meet the manager, but they are gorgeous. There we go. They're gorgeous on the outside. Absolutely gorgeous. So, this is a two bedroom apartment home in Jinx America at Thrive Community, and this lease is for $11.55 a month. fitness centers. Everything's starting to bloom. These little flowers that hang down, upside down. That's cute. They hang it, they grow upside down. Lover? What? Are you gonna wear shoes? Put on my Are you gonna say hi to your fan people? Snooks are awesome. Snooks. Snooks. You look so cute. Tell the world where we're going. Hi, Walmart. We're going up to the Walmart to see what kind of toilet paper crises we have. <laughs> <laughs> the world's gone crazy with coronavirus. The world's gone crazy. I'm going to buy me some, maybe a 12 pack of Coronas and some limes. And I'm just going to sip it. Well, yeah, let's do that.
I'll do what I do. Oh, okay. Let's go. Uh, it's gone. Every bit of the toilet paper is gone. This is history, y'all. History in the making. And here's a little sign here. Due to limited supplies, we are limiting purchases of the following items to four per household. I can't even get out of the aisle. What is it, baby? It's mass hysteria. Fucking stupid is what it is. We're home. I'm officially tired. What time is it? What time is it? I think it's 7.30. 7 7.30? Ish. I'm ready to sit down. I feel like I haven't sat down at all today. I'm over it. Oh, hi. You want to sit at your desk? Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Not for very, no, not, a, not much. Hello. He said that you didn't sit at your desk? When I have to work by myself, there is not a lot of sitting. Can you get back, Jack? Anywho, thanks for hanging out with me today. Um, he's going to eat a sandwich, and I'm going to sit down and decompress. I love you guys. The Lord loves you more. Um, good luck if you're trying to buy toilet paper.